Yeah, it's shameful to admit this, but I actually fell for one of the oldest scams in the book live on stream a few days ago. Many of you know that one of my favorite streaming activities is doing a bad games night. It's where I dumpster dive through Steam's new releases to find super stinkers that nobody has ever heard of and nobody's ever played. It's a lot of fun to find enjoyably terrible games, and a lot of times I'm the first and only person to ever beat the game, which means I also end up being a speedrun champion in the game. Now, while doing a bad game nights two days ago, I found a game called Greed of Man. Looking back on it all now, with hindsight being 2020, I recognize that the name Greed of Man was actually a subtle little joke from the developer laughing in the face of everyone who bought the game, spitting on them, literally giving them a wedgie. It's shocking how deep this rabbit hole went, and I certainly didn't expect it. So, Greed of Man looked like just a potentially fun, shitty game. It was a very low-effort, asset-flip, open-world game with VoIP. And it had overwhelmingly negative reviews, so it immediately caught my eye. It looked like it could be fun shitty, which I always enjoy. And it also happened to cost $30. The hubris to charge $30 for something that took less than 30 minutes to develop. I thought there was potential to have a very fun shitty game here. So, I forked over the clams. And luckily... I caught it at the right time it was on sale, so it was only $20. What a massive saving. $20 for the worst experience I've ever had on Bad Games Night. The game's not a scam just because it's bad. I'm going to get into it in a moment. It's a legitimate, genuine scam by all definitions. So, anyway, Mr. Krabs charges $30 for this game. I play it. I recognize the game is really bad, and I just wanted to see what the community was saying about it, because it wasn't just bad, it was empty. There was nothing to do, nothing worked, it was non-functional. So I went to the Steam forums just to see what the, the hubbub was about, and it turns out this game was actually developed by a TikTok star. His name is Nick the User, and he is apparently notorious for making fake games and hosing his audience down for money buying into the idea that he's a great game developer releasing hit products, fucking bangers. But he's apparently released a handful of games, none of which he ever actually completed, but made quite a bit of money off the back of his audience, and Greed of Man was his latest endeavor into this fucking swamp that he's created. So, Greed of Man was a game that never was supposed to even be completed in the first place, and he spent a like, couple months hyping up Greed of Man on TikTok, saying that he's releasing the next GTA 6 online, and it's going to be free to play. Greed of Man is going to be free to play. The game is free. And it turns out, the game wasn't free. He dropped it for 30 fucking dollars. And actually, as of five hours ago, as of recording this, Nick said, listen, I heard all of your feedback. I'm lowering the price from $30 to $10. What a fucking angel. But anyway... So he lied about it being free, and he charged a lot for it, but the reason it's a scam isn't just because of the blatant false advertising or the stealing of other developers' assets against their will and getting blasted for it, getting called out publicly for the stolen assets, but he actually does something else here that is actually a fucking phishing scam, pretty much. I don't want to spoil the surprise, so let me just show you the stream clips from when I got scammed live. I'm going to check this one out. I want to see what kind of town they've got cooked up over there right now. So it's just Gmod RP. Doesn't really seem Gmod esque. All right, let's see how greedy these men are. They got Daft Punk on the banner there. That's kind of hype. This is so tedious. All right, let's get it. Let me make sure this shit isn't like open mic or something. Is this a player? No, this is the item manager. The manager. How do I get this off my screen? Uh, I can see myself moving around here in the fog. Alright, so there's apparently eight players in this bitch. I wanna go find them. Oh, there's one. Oh, he's gonna tase me. Uh, how do I put my hands up? I wonder, what he, I wonder what he's gonna do. Does he work here? How does he have a job here? It wouldn't let me. 
You have to be in uniform. Well, he didn't give me a fucking uniform. Where am I supposed to get it? Enjoy your dough, Erica. God, this place is popping off. This guy's come over here and then blue screened in his brain, I guess. Where are the other players at? God, I hope it's not open mic. I'd be so embarrassed. Oh, I heard a shot. Did that come from outside, or did one of the remaining seven players just kill himself in one of the hotel rooms here? I can't believe I spent $20 on this! I'm ending it! I've had enough! No, it's just not free. It's $20, and it was on sale. Oh my god, how big is this building? Jesus! Imagine getting this room here. They were really ambitious. They thought they'd have a huge player base. Man. Imagine being the stupid asshole that buys this penthouse suite. There's no elevator or anything quick to get down, so here comes a 20 minute run downstairs. What are the reviews like on this game? Hold on. Is there something I'm missing? I know it has overwhelmingly negative reviews, but... There's gotta be something to it, right? There's gotta be something. So everything is not recommended. I cannot recommend this game for two simple reasons. Why the fuck are we used to create an account by using login Steam on your website? <laughs> it's true, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, dude's got my fucking Steam info now, I guess. This is just a disaster, you can't really do anything, this is just a scam game. I didn't play much, but can already see the game's bad. Don't support Nick, he's a scammer and not even a real game developer. He abandoned his only two other games and already gave up on this game before stating he's in way over his head. He heavily advertised this game as free just a few months ago and is now making 3k a month on Patreon for making literal garbage. Wait, how deep does this rabbit hole go? I'd like to introduce you all to- What the fuck? Did I just fall for a big scam? Well, I mean, the game sucks ass. Like, there's nothing to do here. It is a scam, but, like, is it, like, a well-known scam? This TikTok star is scamming his audience with fake games. I fell for a scam. I'm not his audience, and I still got scammed. To Nick, a self-proclaimed game developer Son of a who has bitch. a following of almost 750,000 followers on TikTok, promoting his now-released early access title called Greed of Man. Oh, that's what I'm playing right now. The developer, I don't say that lightly. So, I can't believe it. <laughs> Man, bad game night got me scammed. Space on September 14th, yeah, I have to, I have to change my shit here. Called Tomorrow's Past. Existed GTA Online. And this became a huge issue as of a couple weeks ago when I realized Ugh. that my workflow was not going to finish this game in time. This game would take in time for what, man? Like what? You you don't work for a publisher, you're your own boss. In time for what? What are you talking about, brother? God, I got scammed by a 16 year old surfer frat douchebag. Uh, that was twenty dollars right down the shitter too. Yeah, I'm just gonna refund it, but he still gets the twenty dollars, unfortunately. Man. And it looks so good, too. To think, if only a developer who cared had their hands on this. They could make Catnap Homes a real success. I'll take one more last look around this beautiful world before saying my goodbyes to it. Damn you, Nick! Damn you! Oh my god, there's another victim of the scam. That's probably Nick himself. Charles, turn off that video, it's a lie! The game's great, I'm still working on it. Give me time! Hey! Hey, Buster, can you hear me? It's supposed to be like an RP style game, but there's no settings for like voice, so I'm guessing that's not actually here. And there's also only one audio setting, which is voice, but with no way of getting voice. Hey, you stupid asshole, stop! If you can hear me, stop running. I'll give you a hundred Roblox if you stop running. Yeah, if he could hear me, he would have stopped for sure on the Robux. 
Let's see what he does. There's two of you? No, these have to be these have to be bots. No way. No way. No, no shot. Bots. Okay. I'm gonna refund this so that way Nick doesn't get all of my my twenty dollars here. I wanna see how much he or how often he scams. Hold on, what's this TikTok doing right now? Cause this is this is brand spanking new scam here. This is fresh off the press. I was one of the early adopter victims here. <laughs> That doesn't feel good. Yeah, I'm gonna go change my shit in just a second. Hold on. Okay, refund notice is in. Let me change my Steam <laughs> information. I think... Let me, let me run through how I think this goes. I think what's happened here... Is Nick has made games like this. Which are basically like... GTA Online. Or... Roblox, open world, come in, come on. And what happens is when you try and play the game, you have to sign up on his website, which I did. And you have to link your Steam, which I did. Like an absolute buffoon. So I think what he does then is he maybe sells your information somewhere. I don't think he uses it. Like, I don't think he actually logs into accounts to steal things. I think he's just more of a data harvester type. That's my guess. So... Big Fry just reviewed my- Here, he's, he's addressing the scam video that I had up just a minute ago. My game, calling me a scammer. Now, I'm a 17 year old in high school, so- I got scammed by a fucking 17 year old! God! Jesus! Uh, I was kidding about calling him 16. He's actually a 17 year old. I don't exactly have all the time in the world to be developing. So, the fact that this adult that does YouTube video reviews on scam games is going to take my small project and call it a scam simply because the audience grew so fast and I gained so much traction and I didn't deliver, like, the next GTA 6. What? And again, the game's in an early access state. I'm not done with it. I just wanted to get a couple people in to try testing things and... Testing what things? Nothing worked. It was an empty world that I couldn't interact with anything. There, this is literally, he's just lying. It's $20 for an open asset world. All just asset flips. And you can't even interact with anything because it doesn't work. Bug fixing and adding new ideas that they come up with. And that's why the server sizes were only like 16 people. I wasn't expecting thousands of people that just jump into the game right away so my thousands of people didn't jump into the game you had a peak player kind of like 50 brother uh. servers could not keep up and you can't be comparing my game to like extremely successful and long-lived developments and projects by big companies no one is again, you didn't make a, a game schooler i'm still living life this isn't the only thing i do like you can't be calling my game a scam just because i didn't deliver some extremely amazing product to you you didn't deliver I mean, a product it honestly is a passion project of mine that i was just doing uh, for fun and it just so happened to gain a ton of traction and it's kind of messed up to call it a scam too because scams are something where you get your money taken and you don't get anything out of it that's exactly this, you just defined your game I, I i am now one of the victims here that is your game it is the textbook definition of a scam that you just recited it's a steam game you can buy the game, and if you don't like it, you refund it. It's not a scam. You keep your money. But I, I did refund it. Power trip by calling things shit and calling things scam, so I'll let him do his thing. So I found his burner. He even hearted it. I feel for you. The amount of hate is insane for a game that is genuinely good. You shouldn't focus on the hate. It only brings you down. From an account called Anonym. That's absolutely his burner. The game is not genuinely good. It's not a game. It's, it, it wasn't a game. But I find it pretty crazy. We went from free to play to this. Yeah, is Nick I, playing? I don't think so. <laughs> well. So there is there is VoIP. It's just those two goobers weren't talking to me. It's like three I've been doing bad game nights for fucking four years, and I've never had something like that happen. 
The closest thing I got to scammed in the past was I downloaded a game on Steam that didn't have the, like, actual executable file in it. Which is like, okay. <laughs> that, that is a scam, but at the very least it didn't steal my fucking Steam login information.